Rearrange formulas to isolate variables. These are the formulas which have sum and product in it, right? So, in such formulas, you have to do reverse operation, and the reverse operation for sum is subtraction, and for product is division, right? So, that is what we are going to do to rearrange these formulas, right? So, here are four on your sheet. A equals to P plus I, this formula is used to calculate amount if you are given principal and interest. Here P is perimeter of a rectangle with sides length of L and width of W. So perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W, right? This is the equation of a line Y equals to MX plus B where X and Y are the coordinates of any point on the line. M is the slope and B is Y intercept. This is a formula for amount equals to principal amount plus interest which is written as P which is principal times rate of interest times number of years in T for time in number of years right. So I will do two of them for you the other two are for you to do okay. So let me do the last two okay. y equals to mx plus b. Okay, I will isolate for x in this case or let me say I will isolate for slope m and for you you can practice with the same formula isolating for x and then isolating for b so that is you will get more practice okay now if I have to isolate for m then what I don't need from here that is what you have to see right let me rewrite the formula and show you how we will do it so we can write this as mx plus b equals to y. That is the first thing I will do. Whichever variable I want, I will keep it on my left side. Now, here I don't need b. So first I will take away b from both sides, right? And then I will divide by x to get m, right? So this is how I am going to isolate. So first step is we have mx plus b minus b equals to y minus b correct so that gives me mx equals to y minus b to find x i'll divide by m so let me divide by m both sides and then i get x equals to y minus b divide by m that is how i'm going to isolate for x okay so this is the process of isolation let's do this one now let's isolate for T, right it is very similar to what we did here so I'll do shorter steps here so what I will do is let me write this as <clears throat> P plus PRT equals to A and what I need is T so I will take away P from both sides if I take away P from both sides I get P times R times T equals to a minus p right now if i want t then i have to divide by p and r so t equals to a minus p divided by p and r right so that is how we can isolate time from this equation okay now for you you can try to isolate r in the similar fashion okay now let me do one more for you. So I'll do this. Perimeter equals to twice length plus twice width. Remember, all, always I'm trying to write this on the left side and then figure it out. But it doesn't really matter. You can keep it on the right side and also do it. So let's do it this way, keeping it on the right side. Let's isolate for length L. As an exercise for you, you can try isolation of w that means writing the formula for finding out width w of a rectangle that is what it means so let's first try to find out length given perimeter and width okay so length should be we don't want 2w so we'll take away 2w from both sides so what i'm doing, trying to do is i'm doing 2w minus from both sides correct so i'm trying to explain you in, in these formulas different ways of doing the same thing so when we do minus 2w from both the sides, we get p minus 2w equals to 2 times L, 
length, right? Because 2w minus 2w is 0. We actually want length. So we have to divide by 2 on both sides. So let's divide by 2 on both sides. So we do divide by 2, divide by 2, right? That is the next step. So you get length equals to perimeter minus 2w divide by 2. So that becomes your formula for length. Do you see that? That is how you will isolate length, right? Now, let me give you a problem which you can solve using these formulas. Let's consider a rectangle here. So this is a rectangle whose perimeter, let me write down, perimeter of rectangle P is equals to, let us say, 20 centimeter, right? So 20 centimeter is the perimeter of this rectangle. If the length of this is 6 centimeter, you have to find what W is. Okay. So for that, you need to isolate for W, right? So that is what you need to do.